Hey guys, Constance here. Welcome back to Good Life Farm. So we are working on another zucchini recipe today. Um, earlier, um, midday, I made a lemon zucchini uh, quick bread recipe and I already shared that with all of you. Now I'm making a zucchini dinner. This is an Italian zucchini casserole. Uh, it's got Italian sausage and onion and cheeses and seasonings and it's another great way to use up some zucchini. So I started off with a pound of Italian sausage and a cup of diced onion and I cooked that together in a skillet until uh, the Italian sausage was nice and browned and the onion was nice and tender. So I just scooped it out, set it in this bowl, and then I took three zucchinis. I split them all. Um, I don't think I filmed this part, but if I did, I'll put it right here. I split them all in half the long way, and then I cut each of those uh, into half inch slices. Um, all except the last one. The last one I split in half and I cut half of it into half inch or so slices, kind of like half moon shapes. And then the other half I cut into very skinny strips and these are just gonna go on top and they're nice and thin so they, they don't really need to be um, parboiled or anything like that. I took all of the uh, half discs of zucchini and I stuck them in the same skillet that I cooked the Italian sausage and onion in uh, put in about a quarter cup of water and I've just got them simmering on kind of a medium low with the lid on just to sort of soften them up just a little bit. So while those are cooking, they'll, they'll take about 10-15 minutes or so. While those are cooking, I'm going to prepare the rest of my ingredients. Um, right here I've actually got about two-thirds of a cup of sun-dried tomatoes and I've got them soaking in water to kind of soften up a little bit. Now these are the plain just sun-dried tomatoes. If you had the ones that are packed in oil you maybe wouldn't have to soak them but um, I'm soaking them because they're just the dry ones. So in my mixing bowl here I'm going to go ahead and beat three eggs. My knife out right here. If you hear that cheeping sound, um, don't worry. It's not the eggs that I'm breaking open. It is our last chick. We have been incubating Icelandics and we have one left in the incubator over there. It was kind of a, a late bloomer. All right, now I'm just gonna give the egg a quick whisking. I'm gonna go drain Drain these tomatoes real quick. All right. Now I'm just going to give these a quick, um, just kind of a quick chop. They're already julienne, so they don't need to be chopped too, too much. Okay. I'm toss those in. Right, so now I've got eight ounces of fresh mozzarella and I'm just going to dice this up into pieces. Okay, and then I'm going to put these in the bowl as well. At this point, I don't really need the whisk. Alright, so now my zucchini that has been kind of cooking over here is nice and soft. 
but I'm going to let this cool down for just a little bit because I need to be able to uh, handle this. And actually, let me grab a little dish here. So I'm going to set my zucchini strips in this dish. And I'm going to go ahead and scoop, scoop my zucchini pieces out on to the cutting board so they can kind of cool down a little bit because I'm going to need to kind of give these a rough chop. And I'm just using my slotted spoon because I don't really need uh, the liquid that's in there. So we'll kind of spread these out and give them just a few minutes to cool down so that I don't burn my hands. And then I'll give them a rough chop um, and they'll go into the bowl as well. So I rough chopped my cooked zucchini that had cooled down enough for me to handle it. Tossed it in here in the bowl. And so now I'm going to add in my Italian sausage and onion. Okay. Next I'm going to add in a clove of minced garlic. quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese, and a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And then a little bit of black pepper. this all together all right so now that those are all combined I've got a square baking pan here and I'm just going to lightly oil the inside of it you can use some olive oil or I'm using some avocado oil whichever is fine and I'm going to pour my mixture into the pan here. Just kind of spread that out. And then the last things I'm going to need are some breadcrumbs and a little bit more Parmesan cheese. Now, I almost never buy breadcrumbs. Um, I just toast some bread, let it cool down, and then pulse it in my food processor here. going to take these breadcrumbs and sprinkle them over the top. Sprinkle on another tablespoon of Parmesan. And that's about a half a cup of breadcrumbs there. And next I'm just going to take a few of my little strips of zucchini and just kind of arrange them on top. And it's okay if you don't use them all. And now this is going to go into the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes.
the Italian zucchini casserole is out of the oven. You can see here and it smells fantastic. So I am going to dig in to dinner and enjoy the fact that I have used up some of my zucchini. Although I used four zucchini today and picked five. Yeah. So that is it for today. If you are interested in this recipe, I will put a printable version of it on my website, cosmopolitancornbread.com, where you can print it out. You can save the recipe to Pinterest or reference it whenever you like. So thanks for joining me here again in the Homestead Kitchen. I will talk to you all next time.